So in this video, we're going to go ahead and style the content area. Uh, we're, so we've almost got this wrapped up. We do need to remember our dimensions. So we had 800 pixels to play with between the left and the right hand side. So to determine the width of this, our content division, we subtracted off the 150 pixels for the navigation bar. And then we had six, six, six pixels of margin between everything. So six times three is 18 pixels. We subtracted off 18 pixels there. And then we want five pixels of padding. So that's gonna add some padding on both sides to keep the text away from the borders. Um, and that's gonna be five and five is 10. So when we subtract those numbers from 800, we get 622 pixels of width. So we want to go ahead and uh, construct a page that has the six pixels, left margin, a minimum height of 600 pixels, and 622 pixels of width with five pixels padding. So we'll go ahead and implement that now. So my in my phishing page, I've already uh, declared my content class division. So it's just it's just a matter of coming in here and making a div dot content which is the name I gave it again these names are arbitrary you can name them whatever you want uh, we want the width of that division to be the 622 pixels we wanted five pixels of padding we wanted a minimum height of 600 pixels and we needed a left margin. We needed a, a margin over here on the left. This left margin needs to be six pixels. If we've calculated correctly, we won't need to set a margin here. It will come out because of the fixed width. But I do need to set that left margin. So margin left is going to be six pixels. And even though I'm not going to put a border on the page, let's put a border on for now just so we can see it. So one pixel solid black border just to make sure we can see things and let's see how that is looking so the notice this is six pixels of margin this is supposed to be six pixels of margin here but because we've got those one pixel borders it's really only going to be four pixels of margin once we remove the borders we'll have the six pixels that we want so the borders are taking up a little bit of space right now. Other than that, it looks like it's pretty good. So then the next step is to get these pictures uh, to float so that the text can come up into the empty space. So I'm going to make this first picture float to the right. So it will leave empty space here and the text will pull up into it. And I'm going to make this a float left picture so the text will come up and fill in this empty space. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to make a uh, and that's going to be specific to images. So I'm going to make two image classes. I, I'm, the names are arbitrary, so I'm going to call this class float right. This will be the picture I get to float to the right. So we use, oops, I got a, I don't have a closing parentheses there. The, it wasn't color coding, so I knew that I had, I had made, I had had a mistake someplace. So float, we're going to set float to the right. And then we're going to take another image and we're going to make a float left class. So float left. And then we have to put those class names now into the images. So I have to go in to my content uh, division. I need to find my picture. Here's my first picture. I want this to be a member of the class float right. It looks like I already typed it in. And let's see if I already typed class float left in on the other image. So I already have the class information in there. So I just, I'll save everything. And then we'll see if it floats correctly. So I'm going to hit save. And if we did it right, the text should float up into the empty spaces to the left and the right. The, the thing, the, the only thing we want to notice here is that the one that I floated to the right, the text is coming right up against the left edge of the image. And the one that floats to the left, the text is right up against the right edge, which doesn't look good. So on the float right picture, I want to add some padding on the left. And on the float left picture, I want to add some padding on the right just to clean up the appearance a little bit. So I'm going to go back into the style sheet and we're going to add padding. So on the float right, 
we need to add padding on the left. Let's put five pixels of padding. And on the float left, we need to add some padding on, we need to add padding on the right. And let's do five pixels of padding there. And just check to make sure that that looks all right. So we'll refresh and see if that gives us some good space there. It kicks the text away from the picture. So uh, the only other thing, we probably can pull the borders off now. The borders were there just so we could see things. Probably time to pull off the borders. So the content border, I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to go up to the nav bar. And I'm going to pull the border information out from there and save and refresh the page so I don't have borders on those elements anymore. And the last thing we have to style is that footer that's down here at the bottom and then it's a wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and stop the video here and come back and do the footer, which should take like two minutes.